I played as two people in my school, Kahoo, and got both first and second. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. Yeah, I guess if you get one of them right, you're gonna get the other one right. So, first and second, easy. <laughs> hey everyone, my name is Jake and welcome to Mad Lads, where we're gonna be looking at the maddest of lads. You know, people that do stuff we probably wouldn't do, or that we just wouldn't do because it's stupid. Most of the time it's stupid, but it's mad, so enjoy. <laughs> What's the craziest crime you or somebody in your family has committed? Well, it's not a bad crime or anything, but it was illegal at the time. So in Germany, up until a few years ago, we still had a general draft for the army. And a generation ago, it was very hard to get out of it. My uncle was a hardcore pacifist, so going to the army wasn't an option for him. But being accepted as a conscientious objector at the time basically required you to be a devout Christian and use the Bible as an argument for why you couldn't kill another human. And my uncle was also atheist. He couldn't realistically object, didn't want to go to the army, and didn't want to go to jail too. So he waited. He got sent his draft notice, passed the physical, and got a letter telling him to report to ex Company under Sergeant Y. He wrote back a reply on rose-colored paper scented with perfume about how much he was looking forward to serving under the strong leadership of Y, promising to obey every one of his orders, and that he can't wait to experience life in the barracks together with so many strong and muscular men. <laughs> he was declared unfit for service shortly after. <laughs> That is one way of getting out of it. I'm surprised they didn't send him to the Navy though. I'm sure the Navy would have been very accepting of him, right? Right? <laughs> I just scrolled through about 500 comments and found a total of zero disrespectful ones. YouTube comment sections can be awful places sometimes, but this isn't one of those times. Well done, folks. Hey, screw you. <laughs> He didn't actually say screw you, but he ruined it. Gucci Dan, why you gotta ruin it? <laughs> what is the difference between a piano, a tuna, and a pot of glue? Well, you can tune a piano, but you can't piano a tuna. Ha <laughs> ha! But what about the pot of glue? <laughs> I figured you'd get stuck there. Ah. Oh, no. Bruh, that is like, that's such a dad joke. <laughs> I once wrote a CS assignment from a satanic perspective and still got a B because they didn't specify. And I wrote it so well. <laughs> Wait, CS is in like, yeah, Christian studies. Nice. <laughs> I was thinking computer science for some reason. I was like, why would you write that from a satanic perspective? <laughs> Labeling everything in my brother's room until he realizes day two. This one, dresser. Mmm. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I wouldn't even mind, like, you tell me what it is, then I know for sure. <laughs> Josh, 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 and Josh, you created this group. You're probably wondering why I've gathered you all here today. Uh, because we all share the same names? Precisely. 4-24-2021, 12 p.m. Meet at these coordinates, hair and hair. We fight. Whoever wins gets to keep the name. Everyone else has to change their name. You have a year to prepare. Good luck. And wait, that's soon. That's soon. <laughs> when this happens, we all come back to this video and see who won. <laughs> People will stop showing you pictures of their kids if you whisper, Oh, yeah. Yeah, under your breath when you look at their photos. <laughs> yeah, they will also avoid you for the rest of their life. So if you don't like someone, do that. <laughs> this was a comment on Dana White's picture with Conor McGregor. Hey, I can't wait to pirate the frick out of this. Thanks, Dana. I am excited. Dana White replies, and I can't wait to catch you. Got a surprise for you guys this year. Hey, good luck stopping me from looking through my neighbor's window to watch the fights, Dana. <laughs> I have to say, as someone who knows someone that tried to search it up on like Twitter and Google, their copyright system is insane. Like someone uploaded it, said one minute ago, this is what my friend told me by the way, and it was removed by UFC instantly. So they're, they're pretty good at doing it, but you're not gonna stop me from going through the window. I'm telling you that. <laughs> Spencer, age 20, who appeared in court today on a marijuana charge, pulled out a joint, lit it, and took about six hits while discussing marijuana laws with the judge. He was then taken into custody. <laughs> Multiple people report it was the best the Lebanon courtroom had ever smelled, and that it was the good stuff. He exclaimed to the judge, we the people deserve better. <laughs> yes, this really happened. He is jailed in lieu of a $3,000 bond charged with disorderly conduct and simple possessions. <laughs> and he's taking a big smile. <laughs> Mr. Beast posts, 
What's one plus one? Is it two or 69? And 69% 69 is 69. How do people do this? I don't understand. Can you change your vote? I feel like you must be able to change your vote, right? <laughs> Mad lad pays for a YouTube ad without his mother's permission. I paid for this ad, lol. Don't tell my mom, she will be mad. <laughs> All right, no one tell her. No one tell her. Come on, this is, this is my income. This guy's paying for you. Thank you, bro. <laughs> oh no, it's that vegan tea. Yeah, this vegan person is just, it's crazy. And Gordon Ramsay is eating hamburger in front of her. <laughs> Good job, bro. <laughs> There's me thinking my 11-year-old son's been doing really well with online lessons and learning well. Nope, very wrong. His teachers just phoned to say they figured out he's made a short video of himself working hard and put it in front of the Zoom camera so it looks like he's working hard when in fact he sat playing on the PlayStation. <laughs> they only noticed today because he's been wearing the same clothes for three days straight and always doing the same actions. I'm fuming. Oh, that's such a rookie error. Yo, you've got to have at least like 10 different recordings and make sure they don't play on a loop. <laughs> this comment was commented 14 years ago. Man, I watch this video five, six times a day. It's just touching. Thanks for the upload. And then they've said, hi, hey, are you alive? Yes. And now I have to relive my cringeworthy comment from 14 years ago. Yo, he's still got the account. Account. Wow. <laughs> a customer ordered food from McDonald's and she was in for a shock when her delivery agent cancelled the order and ate it while standing right outside her home. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, fair enough, at least you got the record so you can get another one, but why? <laughs> Sent this to my bio teacher who loves Carl Sagan. Hey, I found this funny. It could actually be a real quote from Carl Sagan. If science were easy, they would call it your mom. <laughs> and his teacher replied, haha, that's awesome. I'm gonna have to say that it's not an actual quote from Mr. Carl Sagan. Hope you and your family are doing well. <laughs> the best thing to say is you are ugly, you should wear a mask. Ah, that would make people wear it more likely, right? You are ugly, you should wear a mask. <laughs> Achievement get, return to the sender. <laughs> Ranking every Simpsons episode ever. Six hours and three minutes? Wait, did you watch the entire one? Yeah, he watched the entire series. That can't only be six hours, right? Surely that's hours and out, probably days. Someone posted the entire SpongeBob movie onto TikTok. Wait, literally a whole SpongeBob movie. Please enjoy. What movie should I do now? Wait, isn't TikTok max at 60 seconds? How did you post an entire like hour long, two hour long movie? Did you post it in 60 second increments? <laughs> Three years ago, someone posted, this is the Google Trends data for the search October. If enough people search for October this week, everyone for the next five years will wonder what happened in summer 2017. Please participate. So it's just literally October, October, yeah, okay. And then this is the search term today, <laughs> October. And you see that little spike? That's it. <laughs> Playing tic-tac-toe during an online lesson. Wait, how? <laughs> You're typing it all in? Oh wait, he's about to win. Yeah, come on, get the zero in there. Easy. <laughs> My bike was stolen last week, and yesterday I saw it for sale on Craigslist. So I messaged the seller, met him at a McDonald's, and when I noticed it was 100% my bike, I dumbly asked him to take it for a ride. He said, yeah, just don't ride off, which is exactly what I did. I stole my bike back. <laughs> it's evil, but it's justice, all right? I don't think that's evil at all. No, if it was 100% your bike, like it had your name or you recognized it 100%, then yeah, take that thing. <laughs> no good name is work says, wait, the names in my username? is spelt names -y? How haven't I noticed that before? Ah, oh, sad. And then some guy swoops in with no good names work. Yeah, the real sad part is that the name was still available. And he took it. You mad lad. <laughs> Aubrey Plaza setting up a desktop computer in Starbucks 2008. Oh, <laughs> fair enough. It's like that guy that goes into McDonald's and Wendy's and stuff, and he'll like set up an entire N64 game and just be like, all right, I'm gonna beat Mario today. <laughs> I once walked in on my dad singing Go Go Power Rangers with a red Power Rangers suit on. <laughs> what an absolute legend. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. If he enjoys it, yeah. <laughs> If you enjoyed that video and you want to see more like it, then please subscribe if you're not already. You know, there's a button there. We can get to a million subs, hopefully, this year, maybe. I don't know. And click more videos. There's more there. Thanks. <laughs>